Pseudo right now, as we sit here, is the only internet television network that, that really is big, works in scale, and actually has quality programming. Actually, the way that we started, we took this big space, 10,000 square feet here in Soho. Every three weeks, we throw a big downtown party in Manhattan. We started out with about seven employees, and the idea was we're going to produce one hour of real AM radio about the internet. People all over the world can access this one hour. As a result of that, um, over time, we've established uh, a, a really excellent talent flow. So we did that for a while as radio, and then it unfolded into streaming video, and that's where we are today. We're not a website, we're not a zine. We just want to provide our audience with an exciting net experience. My name is Scott Rubin. I founded the All Games Network and run that channel. I think it's a natural fit. Internet broadcasting with internet gaming, I mean, like a glove. Jessica Zeno. I am the producer of Pseudo Romance. What we wanted to incorporate is sex, lifestyles, and love. My name is Randy Enkinoki Ward, one of the executive producers of 88hiphop.com, the channel. We cover the entire culture of hip-hop. I think they really have tapped into a kind of hip, technology-oriented, culturally-oriented sensibility. And they do that really well on all their channels. Our audience and the audience at large, they're a very sophisticated audience. They're usually um, PC enthusiasts. They own the computer. Excited about the music scene. Those who know nothing about hip-hop. Anywhere between the ages of 15 and 34 years old. Those who think they know everything about hip-hop. Usually college educated. Gamers tend to have faster connections so that they can play more online. People who are looking for interesting, entertaining content that they cannot find on mainstream radio, mainstream television. We think that the interactive nature of the web and TV is going to be the next big thing. That will absolutely drive people to come online, spend money, interact with TV shows, participate in elections. The internet broadcasting medium really allows me to create boundless interactive collaboration of some sort. We said, why don't we put the video into the chat and have the video talk to the chatters, right? It's TV that talks back at you. With Pseudo Romance, the show, uh, we had really good response from our audience because it was interactive. You know, there were four people in the studio and we got people who would come back each week and chat their questions and talk with us and we built relationships with these people. There's an incredible interactive link that allows you, the viewer, to become involved with the program. You learn things about cultures halfway across the world. Watching this person on a computer screen talking to you I mean, where else can you get that? You cannot get that anywhere else but in interactive netcasting. Sponsors are not in the business of television programming. They're in the business of completing transactions on the net. What we do is bring an audience in, keep them there, make them loyal customers. We look at the world like a pyramid. And at the top of the pyramid, you've got network television. Then cable comes along, it's still fairly broad. We're playing in the internet television space, which is expanding out the bottom of the pyramid and offering the opportunity to produce very cost-effectively, much more specific niche programming to very strong affinity groups. We can actually you know, sit down with you, understand your demographic, and then custom tailor content that's going to meet the needs of that demographic. When your brand then comes into that content, the impact on that audience is going to be 10 times as great because it's delivered within content that makes sense to them. It's everything from straight ad buys, which is buttons, banners, video, to entitlement sponsorship. We can sponsor a whole channel or one show or a segment of a show, and we can tailor it to whatever they need. If they want something that's niche, if they want to get just a certain kind of audience, we can create that for them. With streaming media, especially combined with the chat and the live audience and the host and the whole sort of communications experience of the show. What you're doing is you're really allowing the audience to interact with the product. It becomes much, much more memorable. Pseudo is the truth and our audiences understand that. We have achieved a high degree of credibility with them and sponsors who work with us can leverage off of that credibility. People say, you know, well, Pseudo gets it. What we want to do is work with sponsors who get us people who produce the shows and the people that are on air are extremely committed and passionate about what they do. Sooner or later, someday, our version of net television is going to dominate all media. This is going to be big, and every day I'm just living
loving and eating 